Tivoli Storage Manager Version 6 Performance Tuning Understanding Server Instrumentation These are the topics we will cover. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you a working understanding of how to use the TSM server instrumentation so that you can use it to identify TSM performance bottlenecks in your environment. There is a methodology that works best for solving performance tuning problems. This methodology is iterative and is focused on finding the bottleneck and then providing relief for that bottleneck. First, it is important to have a reasonable expectation for throughput in any environment. There will be physical limitations imposed by the configuration, the network, tape drives, etc. Understanding these limitations is the first step towards setting appropriate expectations. It is best to be able to identify performance anomalies as quickly as possible so as to take action before things get worse. Use baseline measurements to spot problems. For example, a backup from last night that takes much longer or is trending longer over, over a period of time is a strong indication that performance is degrading. Often, performance issues are related to recent changes in the environment. Identify any possible changes and consider the effect of these changes. Next, gather performance diagnostics. The TSM server and client instrumentation are the best place to start. There may be other outputs that are needed later, such as operating system diagnostics or network diagnostics. However, the instrumentation tools are generally sufficient to identify the bottleneck. They are designed to measure the data movement components of a TSM operation and can generally identify which parts are taking the most time. When the bottleneck is identified, take corrective action. Use the TSM Optimizing Performance Guide to get advice about setting TSM parameters that might affect performance. It might be necessary to add network, disk, or tape resource to relieve the bottleneck. This process can be repeated as often as necessary until the desired performance is achieved or until there is no practical way to remove the bottleneck. TSM Server Instrumentation is a tool that is used to help resolve performance problems. It is useful for operations that involve TSM clients like backup and restore. It is also useful for TSM server only operations like storage pool migration or storage pool backup. When client operations are involved, it should be used in conjunction with TSM client instrumentation. TSM server instrumentation works by identifying TSM server internal processing threads that are pertinent to data movement operations. It will categorize each discrete function within these data movement threads. Then it will count the number of times each function is invoked and calculate the total time spent on each function within the thread. The resulting statistics are displayed in a tabular format for each data movement thread that has been identified. This is an example of a portion of a server instrumentation output. The TSM server instrumentation is controlled from any TSM administrator command line interface. Server instrumentation requires system authority. To start the instrumentation, issue the command INSTR begin. To end the instrumentation and have the output returned to the screen, issue the command INSTR end. To have the instrumentation write the output to a file, add the path and file name to the ending command like this. INSTR end file equals slash home slash INSTR dot out. This will write the output to the file INSTR dot out in the slash home directory on the TSM server. It is easy to dynamically start and stop the instrumentation as needed. It's not a good idea to keep the instrumentation running for long periods of time. It's best to keep the duration short, 20 or 30 minutes give a good snapshot of activity on the TSM server. The best way to use the TSM server instrumentation is to use the TSM server monitor script. 
This Perl script will run the server instrumentation repeatedly in 20-minute intervals. It will also collect other pertinent information for diagnosing a performance tuning problem. It can be used to collect instrumentation over the life of a long-running backup, restore, or other TSM operation. You can get the server monitor script from the TSM technical support website at the link shown. This example highlights the various parts of the individual thread output. The thread ID is the identifying number given the thread by the TSM server. It is often useful to match this ID to the session number or the process number of a particular TSM data movement operation. This can be done with the TSM show threads or show sessions commands. The thread type indicates the TSM server operation that is being performed by this thread. The thread interval shows the begin time and end time of the measurements for this thread. The thread categories are the discrete sub-operations that are performed to accomplish the data movement. These are the categories that are counted and timed. The total thread time is the sum in seconds of all the category times. It represents the total measurement time for this thread. The total k bytes transferred is the total amount of data transferred by this thread for this measurement. It is sometimes useful to match this value with other threads to find threads that are performing associated operations. For example, in a storage pool migration, there will be one thread reading the data from the source storage pool and one thread writing data to the target storage pool. They will both move approximately the same number of bytes. Use this chart to understand the meanings of the column values displayed in the thread output. These are the columns most often used for performance tuning. Operation. This is the subactivity or category. The values in each row are subtotals for this thread. Count. This is the number of times the actions in this category were performed during the measurement interval. Divide this number into total KB to calculate the data block size per category. Tote time. This is the total time spent in this category. The more time spent in this category relative to the total time, the more likely this category is the bottleneck. INST tput. This is the instantaneous throughput for the category. It is calculated by dividing the tote time into the total KB. It is a very good indication of the raw throughput of the activity for this category. It can give a quick indication if the particular data movement activity is performing as expected. For example, if the category is a disk read or a disk write and the instantaneous throughput is 2 megabytes per second, it is an indication that there may be a problem with disk I.O. Total KB. This is the total amount of data moved in this category during the measurement interval. Look for threads that move the largest amounts of data. Threads that move only very small amounts of data are not significant and should be ignored. Use this chart to understand the category names and their meanings. Most of these categories represent specific data movement operations and their meanings are intuitive. However, some of the categories relate to other, less intuitive TSM server operations that could be bottlenecks. Tape commit is the time the TSM server waits on the tape drive to perform end of transaction processing. This includes the time it takes to flush the drive buffers and write the data on the tape media. Significant time in this category could indicate VTL deduplication or tape drive compression that cannot keep up with the data flow. It could also indicate a tape write size that is too small. TSM lock wait and several other similar categories represent time this thread spent waiting to acquire TSM server database locks. Significant time here can indicate an overworked TSM server or a problem with the TSM database. Thread wait is the time that this thread spent waiting for another thread. 
Significant thread wait time is a useful indicator of a bottleneck, but the relationship is reversed. A thread is not a bottleneck if it spends much of its time waiting on another thread. A thread that has very little wait time is very busy and much more likely to be the bottleneck. Category names that start with DB2 are measuring TSM database activity. Significant values in any of these categories indicate a problem with the TSM database. Near the end of the server instrumentation output is a summary block of data. This data is useful to get an overall view of the performance of the various categories across all threads and during the entire measurement interval. Use the INST tput column to get a feel for how the data movement operations are performing relative to each other. It can be a good way to get a starting point for the, for the performance bottleneck analysis. However, it is not a good idea to base a performance tuning conclusion on this summary data. It is best to use the individual thread data to find the bottleneck. At the end of the server instrumentation output is a set of DB2 statistics. These values are measurements of the TSM server calls to its DB2 database. Values greater than zero in the seconds per lock weight or in the timings for database reads and database writes are an indication of a problem with the TSM DB2 database. Now we will look at two performance tuning case studies. The first is a storage pool migration where the overall throughput is less than expected. The source storage pool in this migration is a disk pool. The target pool is a tape pool. The first step is to find the threads that are performing the data movement. In this case, the migration is using only one process, th so there are just two threads. For TSM servers on Windows, there will be one thread that performs the disk reads. For TSM servers on Unix or Linux platforms, the disk reads will be spread across several threads, one for each random disk storage pool volume or for sequential disk pools on Unix or Linux platforms, there will be one thread for each sequential volume involved in the operation. In this example, thread 61 is performing the disk read operations from the source pool, and thread 34 is performing the tape write operations to the target pool. To match the threads, look for the two threads that move nearly the same amount of data. First we will look at the disk read operations from thread 61. We can see that the instantaneous throughput for the reads is 42,632.8 kilobytes per second or 41.6 megabytes per second. This is within the range of expected throughput for disk I.O. The thread wait time is 487.450 seconds or 95% of the total thread time. Since this thread is waiting most of the time, it is probably not the bottleneck. Now we will look at the tape writes from thread 34. The thread is writing to tape at 1902.8 kilobytes per second or 1.9 megabytes per second. This is well below what we would expect of a modern high-speed tape drive. The thread wait time is less than one second. This thread is, is busy nearly 100% of the measurement time. The tape writes are clearly the bottleneck. Now that the bottleneck is known, a further examination of the tape subsystem is necessary. It could be a problem with the tape drive, the SAN, the TSM server HBA, or the tape driver. It would also be useful to calculate the tape write size by dividing the total bytes written, total KB in the output, by the number of writes, count, in the output. This calculation yields a write size of 32 kilobytes. This is small and could be increased by adjusting the TXN byte limit and the TXN group max options on the TSM client and server. See the TSM Optimizing Performance Guide for recommended settings. In the next case study, 
we'll look at a client backup operation that is performing slower than expected. The client node name is mail01 underscore dom. The first step is to determine the thread ID of the TSM server thread which is performing the network receive activity from this client. By searching for the node name in the show sessions output, we can find the thread ID of the backup session. Show Sessions is one of the additional outputs captured by the Server Monitor Perl script. The thread ID is 111612. Now we will search for the thread ID 111612 in the TSM Server Instrumentation output. Sometimes the node name is included in the thread output and you can skip the Show Sessions search and go right to the thread in the TSM server instrumentation. In this case, the node name is not included. We can see that the instantaneous throughput is 12,795.7 kilobytes per second, or 12.5 megabytes per second. This is slower than would be expected on a 1 gigabit per second Ethernet. Also, we can see that the thread is waiting only 40.615 seconds. This means that the thread is busy about 97% of the total time. So we can conclude that this network receive thread is the bottleneck. You can use the TSM client instrumentation to determine if this is a network problem or a problem with the client itself. If the TSM client instrumentation shows most time in the data verb category, then the problem is with the network. Then the network can be evaluated for congestion or other potential network problems such as dropped packets. You can use the information in this tutorial to perform your own TSM performance analysis. Remember always to set reasonable performance expectations. Follow the methodology outlined here and use the TSM instrumentation tools to identify the performance bottleneck. Once you have found the bottleneck, you may need to do additional investigation at the network, storage, or operating system levels. Thank you.